One of the trickiest things to pick up on is how to work with fraction. The reaction most people have when they see a fraction is to run the other direction. Fractions? <laughs> They're fractions. I don't want to do fractions. And that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is hit them right on the head. We need to add, we need to subtract fractions, we need to multiply and divide. The four basic operations, that's all we have to do. First, we have to learn to add them, which is actually the hardest one for me. Okay, so if we want to add two-fifths plus one-fifth, we need to have a rule or some sort of process to add a fraction. Um, Curtis, do you know how to add fractions? I sure can, Mr. Mangledorf. Hi, I'm Curtis, and adding fractions is easy. Two-fifths plus one-fifth. Two plus one is one, two, three. And since this bottom number is the same, I just keep it. Two-fifths plus one-fifth, I reckon it's going to be three-fifths. Okay. Thanks, Curtis. As he said, if the bottom numbers are the same, then we can just add the top two numbers. That's it. If the bottom numbers are the same, if they have a common denominator, we add the top two numbers and keep the original bottom number. So what happens when we have a different denominator or the number on the bottom is not the same? How do we add the top numbers, right? There's got to be something for that. Curtis, do you know? You know, I ain't too sure how to add them because those bottom numbers is different. Okay, maybe not. Um, so when looking at this, it's really easy. We want to make this bottom number the same so we can follow our first rule and just add the top two numbers. The easiest thing to do is multiply each number by the other number. So I can see that 2 times 3 equals 6. So my answer is going to be out of 6. I see that. So really I want to rewrite these with the base number of 6. So this one needs to be multiplied by 3. And if I do it to the bottom, I need to do it to the top. If I do it to the bottom, I need to do it to the top. I'm going to rewrite this one as 3 over 6. What do you think I multiply this one by? This one. Right. 2. I need to do it to the top and the bottom. And I get 6 and 2. Easy enough, right? And now we just add straight across. Any guesses? Well, let's see. I've got my Minecraft uh, blind box here. I figured I could just open this up and see, what, uh, see what's inside. See if I got a minifigure. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Five, six. It's the answer. Subtracting fractions is pretty easy, especially when we have the same denominator or, or they're over the same number. Um, this bottom number being five means that we can just subtract the top numbers. For addition and subtraction, we just need the bottom numbers to be the same. Curtis, can you get this one? Hi, I'm Curtis and subtracting fractions is easy. If we look here, we see that this bottom number is in fact the same. This 5 is the same as this 5. On top, I see a 2 and a 1 and a subtraction sign. So, if them bottom numbers is the same, we just subtract the top ones and keep the bottom number. And I know that 2 take away 1 leaves me with 1. Two-fifths, subtracting one-fifth, 
is going to equal one fifth. If we're going to subtract fractions and they have a different denominator on the bottom, just like when we add fractions, we must find the common denominator. The easiest way to do that is to multiply these two numbers together, which tells me that my answer can be over 6. I can always reduce at the end, but the easiest thing to do is multiply those together. And then know that I want to rewrite these two fractions as being out of 6. So this one must be written times 3 on both the top and the bottom. Here, I'm going to multiply by 2. Three minus two is one over six. It's very simple. Just remember with fractions, if you multiply them by each other on the bottom, you'll get a common denominator and you can always reduce at the end. Always take time to rewrite the problem to make it in a format that you understand and looks a little more clear to you. Once we have adding and subtracting fractions down, we're gonna look at multiplying them. It's actually my favorite because it's the easiest. It's all easy, but multiplying is the easiest. All we do is multiply straight across. It's like two multiplication problems that results in a fraction. So let's go ahead and do this one. One times three is three. Two times four is eight. That's it. When you're multiplying fractions straight across every time. Multiplying fractions? No problem. You just do it straight across. Two multiplication problems. Two times three and five times five. And you get a resulting fraction. Curtis, does this make sense? Is it a peanut? Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on here. 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 5 is 25. It's that simple. Multiplying is the easiest thing to do with fractions. Dividing fractions is almost as easy as multiplying them. Multiplying, we just do it straight across. Dividing, we have one more step. We have to flip this second fraction. It's called a reciprocal. That's just this number flipped over. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. That's right. And then we keep our first one the same, and now we multiply. And do you remember we just multiply? It's super easy. We multiply straight across. Does this make sense, Curtis? How about a watermelon? Okay, I think he's hungry. Hmm. Doritos, turkey sandwich. I'm not really sure on that one. You know, fractions ain't so easy now. Anyway, one times four, four. Two times three, six. 4 over 6, can we reduce? Absolutely. That becomes 2 thirds. Both 4 and 6 are divisible by 2. When we divide them by 2, we end up with 2 thirds. So remember, just flip the fraction and multiply, which is the easiest operation. This is called a reciprocal. Remember that word. Okay, last one here before you're ready to tackle the fractions head on. We've got a division problem. Once again, two-fifths divided by three-fifths. Since we're dividing, it doesn't matter about the denominators, not like adding and subtracting. What do I need to do? I need to flip this one over and multiply. When I flip it over, it's called the reciprocal. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to rewrite this one two-fifths times, and then I'm just flipping it over. Three over five. So now I got 5 over 3 equals 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. 
Once again, I need to reduce. I can see that 5 goes into both 10 and 15. It goes into 10 twice and 15 three times. So 10 over 15 is the same as 2 thirds. That's right. Easy enough. Dividing fractions. Some people like to say, keep, change, because we're changing from division to multiplication, flip. Keep, change, flip. That works for me.